One Team League. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the college football playoff scenarios for One Team League. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the college football playoff scenarios for every Power Five conference. We've looked at the SEC and the Big Ten. Please check out those videos. Let us know what you think. Now it's on to the ACC, and it's all pretty much up to Clemson. We're done. All right, all right, all right, all right. I guess there's a little bit more to explain, to talk about here, but it's pretty much Clemson, right? This has been the team in the ACC for the last several seasons, going back to 2015. So going on four seasons now, it's been Clemson or bust in the ACC. And we're only halfway through the season in 2018, and that appears to be what it is. Let's break down the scenarios, though, that go outside the box. All right, Clemson is in as if they run the table. It's a weak, weak ACC this year. We've looked at the conferences. We've ranked them. We've got our conference rankings coming up later this week, and the ACC has not performed well at all outside of the ACC. But, of course, Clemson goes undefeated. They're going to be in the college football playoff. If they go 12-1, and one, they should make the college football playoff at 12-1. and one. The Coastal's done. All right, what about NC State? NC State is the weakest of the undefeated teams right now in the Power Five. And when I say weakest, uh, the most unproven. They had the game scheduled against West Virginia. That got wiped out. Would have loved to have seen NC State take on Will Greer and West Virginia, but we were robbed of that when the hurricane blew through the Carolinas. All right. NC State travels to Clemson on Saturday. They are a 17-point underdog, but Vegas doesn't play the game. So if NC State wins that game, that's not necessarily great for the ACC because let's say NC State beats Clemson, but they turn around and lose to somebody else in the ACC. So both teams finish with one loss in the ACC. Well, of course, North Carolina State would move on to the ACC championship game with the head-to-head tiebreaker over Clemson. And then you've got a situation where North Carolina State, without a significant non-conference win and with one loss, makes it to the ACC championship game and is probably a less than decided favorite against whoever comes out of the Coastal. So the safest scenario is, of course, Clemson winning all its games and going 13-0. Second best would be Clemson going 12-1 and and losing as soon as possible so they can build the momentum with the voters and with the College Football Playoff Selection Committee of being a one-loss team, winning the ACC championship game impressively and going 13 or 12-1 and at that point. All right, so we got Clemson and NC State coming up this week. It's, It's become the de facto ACC championship game, at least in the Atlantic division. No disrespect to Miami and Virginia Tech in particular although we give them a bit of disrespect based on the way that they've played thus far. It's the de facto ACC championship game in place of what we saw with Clemson and Florida State in 2013 through uh, a couple of years ago. All right. The Coastal is done. Period. Done. No way anybody from the Coastal gets in. Everybody's lost two games. And even if somebody runs the table, yes, there will be a two-loss team get into the college football playoff at some point in the next five or six years, but it's certainly not going to happen from this year's ACC Coastal Division. So the worst case scenario, we talked about the best, that's Clemson running the table, and then second best would be Clemson as a one-loss team, and then third best might be NC State as a undefeated or one-loss team. Well, if the Coastal Division wins the ACC Championship game, then that's going to be a rough ride for the ACC. It would be interesting if Clemson showed up to the ACC title game undefeated, then lost to a Coastal Division winner, what they would do with Clemson then. But that would be the most fun if if the Coastal was just a muddled mess of eight and four teams vying for a spot in the ACC championship game. And then if they somehow defeated the Atlantic winner, Clemson. All right. Or if... Yeah, there there are all sorts of bad scenarios for the ACC here. Basically, a Coastal Division winner in the championship game 
or North Carolina State as a one or two loss team getting to the ACC championship game and winning. All right, my preseason pick was pretty much in line with most people. Clemson 11-1, and Miami 10-2. and They met, would meet in the ACC championship game as they did last season, and Clemson wins and goes to the college football playoff. That was my selection. What's going to happen? Miami has a loss in the ACC. Virginia Tech has no losses right now in the ACC. We are three games deep into the ACC schedule. The game between the Canes and the Hokies is in Blacksburg. I am calling for Virginia Tech to win the Coastal Division right now. They have looked awful at times, especially against Old Dominion. The loss to Notre Dame at home, not necessarily that awful. It was at home, and they did get blown out based on the final score, but it was 17-16 at half. If Miami loses one more time, then... Virginia Tech could possibly lose to Miami and still win the Coastal Division. Or, of course, if they finish tied and Virginia Tech wins the tiebreaker. it uh, We thought during the entire preseason, at least I did, that most likely the biggest game in the Coastal Division would be Virginia Tech hosting Miami. All right. So we've got a Clemson winner. That's what I think. That seems to be the conventional wisdom. They're a 17-point favorite against the most um, qualified team to knock them off uh, for the rest of the season because there is no Miami on the schedule, no Virginia Tech for Clemson. Not that they wouldn't be a decided favorite against them as well. Clemson, North Carolina State going to tell us a whole lot this Saturday. But for right now, that's the rundown on the ACC. Clemson or nothing. Let's talk about it down in the comments section. And of course, support the channel by doing your Amazon shopping by grabbing one of the links in the description section and just do your normal shopping. You don't have to buy the product uh, displayed there. Just do your normal shopping and uh, help us out right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.